Is plastic surgery cheating? Is it kind of something that you should be ashamed of? So let me kind of give you a personal trainer's point of view. I've been personal training, been coaching for well over 20 years, I think about 22 years to be exact. And in the industry, in the weight loss, health, fitness, and transformation industry, a lot of the goals that a lot of trainers, and I'm not speaking for all trainers, but for a lot of us, our typical goal is, hey, we want to see you get a healthy lifestyle so you can lose fat, gain muscle, look better, feel better, and overall be healthy. Now, over the past several decades, we've seen this trend of plastic surgery coming up and up and up. Um, and originally, in the beginning, it was all about breast augmentation, getting larger breasts, and then now we've seen the trend of going down towards smaller breasts or actually getting complete removals. We've seen the transition going from tummy tucks. We've seen um, skin removal surgeries. We have seen everything from toectomies, getting ribs removed, and a myriad of other things. And it's always been a little interesting because when it comes down into the health and weight loss game, when people tend to get it done, they tend to feel a little embarrassed or sometimes ashamed of it. And I've seen that thought and I've seen that th way of thinking spread over to people that have considered getting plastic surgery. And I've actually had people that were, that were clients of mine, you know, that were actually a little shy and embarrassed to tell me they had plastic surgery or they are wanting to get plastic surgery because they think that as coaches, we're gonna deem that negative and have a negative judgment on it. They kind of also say they view it as cheating. So really, what is a personal trainer, which I'm not speaking for all, but what is my take on it? Plastic surgery isn't cheating, all right? For the definitions of kind of this video, we have to define what cheating is. Now, really cheating um, is when you're, say for the definitions of this video, is giving an example. You are doing something that goes against a set set of rules, agreed upon set of rules. An example, you are doing a weight loss competition, something, and the rule is it's like, who, how much weight can you lose in 90 days? And you decide to go get uh, a lap band or getting your stomach stapled or gastric bypass surgery. When maybe in the rules it says, hey, no surgery of that nature. It may say no liposuction and you get liposuction so you can win that contest. You could probably see how that may be cheating for that specific area. Another one that we have seen happen a few times is in the realms of bodybuilding. I'll use this as an example that you'll see some bodybuilders or physique competitors get implants, muscular implants to enhance certain muscles on stage. And in some of the rule books, not all the rule books, ironically, but in some of the rule books, it says no muscular implants allowed. And in that context, yeah, I would probably say you're probably cheating for the purpose of the contest. But is it cheating against yourself? No, it's not cheating, guys. There's nothing to be selfish or embarrassed about for getting plastic surgery or really especially wanting plastic surgery. Okay, so let's talk a little deeper about this. So. There are some of people out there, some of you watching this video that I'm just gonna call it what it is, some of you actually need plastic surgery. Now, hear me out before some of you get all upset and think it's caught an offense. No, it's really not an offense. Side note, right off the bat, I am not saying that everyone needs surgery. No, not everyone needs surgery. So don't think if you're watching this video, oh, Travis told me that I need surgery. No, I'm just saying don't feel guilty if you want to get plastic surgery. So a lot of people that come and start working out, you have an image in your head of what you're trying to look like and of what you want to look like. You want to be leaner, fitter, healthier. Some of you want abs. Some of you just want to feel flat, uh, want to get rid of extra skin, things of that nature. So you go to the gym, you start working out, you start enhancing your muscles, you start adapting a lifestyle to look and feel a certain way. Now there are certain individuals out there that just due to their unique circumstances, they will not reach that level unless they have plastic surgery. And let me give you a few examples. There was once a client that I had who came to me, she was about 280, 290, I think actually close to 300 pounds, about 5'2", five, 5'3". Um, it came to me, we needed to get about 150 pounds off of her. She had bad back, bad knees, things of this nature. Okay, so we actually worked out very hard and we got 75 to nearly 80 pounds off, but then we ran into something. She needed to lose another 75. She actually needed to lose another technically 50 because what she needed is what she needed knee replacement surgery, all right? Both of her knees were just rocked and this was long before she had ever met me. So 
our goal was to essentially get her down to where she could qualify for knee replacement surgery because at that point in time, even though we got her from about 280 down to 210, the doctor said that she still carried too much weight to get her knee surgery. We were at this dilemma because her knees were so bad that we couldn't work out to the level that we needed to work at to allow her body to burn some of the extra calories. And she was willing to admit that the diet that she would probably have to follow to get down another 50 plus pounds was just gonna be too difficult with her lifestyle. She was just being honest about it. When you have an individual that could really at this point in time only work out just due to their bad knees, three, maybe four days a week, and a lot of what was just walking in light weights, you do kind of come to a dilemma. So we had a conversation and we talked and we said, hey, look, for you to really kind of get this knee surgery and get your knee replacement, you're probably gonna to have to get, you know, a lap band. You're probably gonna have to go gastric bypass. All right, just because we're at a dilemma to where we can't work out at the intensity that we needed to work out at, and nor was she willing to go to the point of eating very, very little when she couldn't work out as much. So you kind of see the dilemma she was in. Her and I sat down and talked, and I said, go talk to a surgeon for gastric bypass and see if that's an option. What ended up happening? All right, so she did qualify for gastric bypass, got gastric bypass, ended up losing another 70 pounds and then qualified for her knee replacement surgery. I saw her, you know, after gastric bypass, she was dropping weight very steadily. Then I also saw her when she got her knees replaced and now she, I think, is about 130 pounds, 130, 150 in that area, but pain-free, lives a very active lifestyle. And in that context, she's one of those individuals that needed plastic surgery, or really in that case, needed weight loss surgery. Should she be ashamed about it? Hell no, there's nothing to be ashamed about that. Because she did put in the work, she realized that this wasn't, uh, that she was gonna have to live a healthier lifestyle regardless, especially if you're gonna go through back gastric bypass, you're definitely gonna have to make the changes to live a healthier lifestyle. And so that was one example. And let me give you another one. I recently had a client, which I'll put uh, his story up here, uh, somewhere up here, you'll see it in the below, above me, who lost over 200 pounds lost 211 pounds to be exact. He got to the point to when we were dropping weight. His name is Danny, all right? And Danny might be watching this video. We got to the weight point we were dropping weight that he got down to about 175 pounds in weight loss. And so I actually asked him, I said, hey, have you ever ha thought about having skin removal surgery? Because you know, you're losing that much weight. You're obviously gonna have a lot of skin. And he called me, goes, no, I'm not really interested in it as of yet. He goes, I'm just gonna keep working out harder. Well, then eventually something did happen. All the extra skin that he was carrying was actually starting to hinder him from further getting in better, for really furthering himself and getting in better shape. He made a comment to me, and this is something I never even thought about. He made a comment to me of how, number one, he noticed every time that he were to do like a fast movement, maybe a small step, a small jump, or anything that involved any kind of a small explosive nature, um, he would feel the extra skin of his stomach tug and would feel it tugging at his belly button, which attaches to your abdominal wall. So he would feel this yanking constantly at his abs every time he had to do a jump. Ooh, I mean, seriously, that sounds painful. He would actually comment that he wants to bike ride and he wants to take up mountain biking, but he couldn't because the extra skin would just make sitting on the seat. If you're a guy and watching this, it's just pressing in places you don't want it to press. When you gotta get to that point in time, the doctors actually told him, they said, you have two options. Either gain another 25 pounds so you're not feeling that extra pressure against places you don't want, you're not feeling your belly button tugging against your stomach like the way you are, or skin removal surgery. What do you think we did? Well, we went from 175 to 211 pounds, uh, weight loss total, and he ended up getting a ton of skin removal surgery. Was that cheating? No, that's not cheating. It was nothing to be embarrassed about. And in fact, if anything, what it did for him, it actually encouraged and motivated him to do even better. Because especially going through a process like that, no, you don't want to go through a process like that and go back to your former lifestyle. It actually kind of cemented, it was the nail in the coffin to keep him from doing and living another way, going back to living the way he was living. And let's talk about, of course, one of you that may know, which is going to be my wife, Brandy. Now, Brandy recently had a tummy tuck. Some of you may call it mommy makeover, things of that nature. So she had a tummy tuck. It was something that she's been wanting for a long time. Being coach, she had worked out hard, she had dieted hard after being around 200 pounds having three kids losing 60 plus pounds 
you just gotta face it, your body does essentially go through a point of damage. So her body went through a point of damage and then it got certain points to her that maybe she doesn't really talk about enough and I'm just gonna say it on camera like it is. It got to a certain point that no matter how hard she worked and no matter how much she dieted, she would see all these changes everywhere else but the change that she wanted the most was her stomach. And it took so the wind out of her sails some days. And no matter what, what would end up happening is when she'd go look in the mirror, the first thing her eyes went to straight down to her tummy. Even though everything else was toning up, even though she was getting strong, even though she was making amazing progress, it went down to her stomach. She always felt very self-conscious about it. So she put in the work, she lost a lot of weight on her own, but eventually at a certain point in time, yeah, you know, to kind of look the way that she wanted to look in her head, yeah, she had to get that skin removed and it was the size of a football. It's one of those that you don't realize how much it is until it's actually taken off. So was it cheating in that context? No, because one, Neither one of these individuals were doing a competition. They were doing it to better their health and to better themselves. And most importantly, they were doing it to help better this up here. There are some people, there are gonna be some of you watching this video that, hey, you know what? For you to essentially achieve this image that you have in your head, to reach this goal that you have up here, that eventually you may need to come across some kind of plastic surgery, whether it's skin removal, whether it's augmentation, anything of that nature, you're gonna have to go through that. It's okay, there is nothing wrong with that. Get it out of your head that you're cheating. Get it out of your head that you're being selfish for wanting to spend that kind of money, because let me explain why. So right off the bat, your goal is essentially you want to live a happier, healthier lifestyle. You want to not only look, you know, feel good up here, but you want your body to be a reflection of what you think and how you feel up here and vice versa. You want to see that. And so I will definitely say this, as a coach, I am biased and I would say, hey, still put in the work first, still work out, eat right, and put in a good, honest effort first. After a period of time, when you've reached a level of about as far as you can go, yeah, now it probably is time to talk about plastic surgery. Now it probably is time to talk about augmentation. I've seen women who have lost 20 pounds and lo and behold, their breast tissue is one of the first things to go. They're kind of sad about it. I mean, so is it cheating for them to go ahead and get breast augmentation? No, it's not cheating. Guys, the overall goal of this, again, is to look and accomplish, especially in fitness, you're trying to accomplish what you see up here. And as long as you're putting in the time and the effort in the gym, you will come to a point when you know that, hey, maybe I do need plastic surgery. Now, here is a great thing actually about this. And this is, I'm one of those coaches that for some of you that are gonna do this, here's what I tell you. It's actually a good thing, okay? One, you can use it as a reward for yourself to say, hey, I've gone as far as I can go, um, or if I reach these milestones, I will get this done. It can be used as a reward to yourself. But there are others, and this is what some people don't think about, that it actually will help inspire change. For some individuals that you know, get the tummy tuck done, well, you know what's gonna happen? You're not gonna go back to that old way of eating because if you spent 10, 12, 14, more thousand dollars or $16,000 on that, what is the likelihood of you're gonna go back to that old lifestyle? Probably pretty slim. Well, what about the person who did do the bariatric surgery? They lost 50, 60 pounds on their own, okay? Which obviously took some major lifestyle changes. They go to bariatric, get bariatric surgery and they lose another 100 plus pounds. You know, what's the likelihood of them going back to their old way of doing it? kind of goes way down, all right? For some people, I have seen plastic surgery for certain individuals allow them to be the catalyst for change. Let's take this scarlet letter off when it comes down to being shy or selfish or ashamed or thinking plastic surgery is cheating because guys, come on, it's not. You know, more and more people get it done. It's perfectly fine, especially in the exercise and fitness industry. When you have this image that you want to look like or you want to feel like and you have this image up here, you may get to a point that to get there, some forms of surgery may be needed. Removing excess skin, getting augmentation, or even for some individuals, bariatric surgery because, hey, bariatric surgery has saved some lives, whether you believe it or not, no matter what you think. For the individuals that kind of think and for those people that tell you otherwise, those people that say, no, it's cheating, you shouldn't get it done, things of that nature, and they're giving you crap about it, it's not their body. It's your body. You're the one that's got to wake up and look at you and you're yourself in the mirror every day. You're the one that's gotta see it when you put on or take off your clothes. They're not the ones spending the money, you are. And damn it, it's okay to. 
Don't ever feel guilty, especially about doing anything that you feel is going to allow you to live a happier, healthier, better life life. So as a personal trainer, I'm really kind of here to tell you a lot of this right now is there's a lot of trainers that think and feel this way. If you're not doing it for competition, it's not cheating, you know, but set it up as a reward for something, especially if you're going to go through like a bariatric skin removal surgery, diet as much of yourself, as much fat off as you can. It will make the surgeon job a heck of a lot easier. So one more time, don't feel guilty about it, guys. This is your life. Do you do what makes you happy? Do what fulfills you and just to hell with everyone else.